Hey guys, it's Rambo here. Well, another week down and uh, now a little time to relax over the weekend, do a little studying. Um, I'm just going to be going through some of our uh, picks for the week, uh, a little review and preview for uh, what we might be looking at next week. Um, today, Eilis, <coughs> overall, uh, continuing uh, downward. We finished strong though. Uh, but uh, we're, I, I set up a trend line here, and I set up, this is called the Andrews Pitchfork. I did this previously uh, before on some other, uh, other videos, um, and generally I use it when we're in what we call no man's land. Uh, we go by the deviations here, um, <clears throat> and again, we, we got to the fourth deviation at 99.9 percent .9 of the time it doesn't hold it didn't hear um, but as far as support resistance there you know all we have is this uh, well the Andrews pitchfork is used um, and how that works is you get the low point of of the move and you go to the, the very lowest point now of course when none of this is here or this it would have been right here the lowest point and the highest point well, now we have this for a low point and that for a high point, okay? And actually, if that cuts through, it's not supposed to cut through anything. So really, right there is the high point. And this is kind of like deviations within the deviations. So this is your average price of the stock within this move. This is the second deviation high, second deviation low. Okay. Um, and if you notice, it comes up, it dips, hits the average line, comes up again exactly here. And now what I want is the body to come down here. Um, but if you notice, we did bottom out right there. So uh, it's a little tricky on what might happen with Eyeless here. Uh, Monday uh, we do have bottoming tails so uh, Monday we, we just might start up high and we might end up starting to go up towards at least the median again and, and maybe testing uh, the upper uh, side of the channel again just like what I said from gold to gold how where it mostly stays well in here it mostly you know it goes from this area to that area uh, if it breaks this area and goes up, then we're going to have a more increased spike to the upside. Uh, and if we break this area right here, usually that means this is it's definitely a beginning to a downtrend. Uh, we're getting in that area right here, uh, kind of like a really big wedge is forming here. And I'm wa waiting to see if I just breaks the wedge here and would be a good sign to come up. It might break the wedge, come back, test this. And come up that's what I'd like to see or it just might continue downward uh, and then breaking the pitchfork and, and having a larger uh, retracement so um, so Eilis uh, Monday should really help us to determine uh, which way it's going um, so I'm looking forward to that on Eilis um, Sybil uh, downtown what 10.9 percent or so um, again, I have Andrew's pitchfork on this one also. Um, this was the high. Here's the low down here. And uh, we just crossed over the means line here. Um, again, it comes up you know, on top of the, the fourth deviation and then gets rejected. Um, a, a nice retracement, like I was saying before, would be down in um, that area, I would say, the um, 50 percent for this would be about at the 0 0.0389 area uh, that would be a nice retracement for uh, CYBL um, uh, we're definitely uh, coming down as I expected it to um, and I'm just hoping to catch the next wave on Sybil this is where I, I bought in I sold up here right here um, as soon as it hit that black line it's like 
that's all I need. If it rips up higher, then okay. I'll wait for the dip. Uh, well, I bought, and and now we're we're coming back down, and I'll wait for for it to come back up, and I'll buy the dip. Um, presumably, um, it, it, you know, coming back down here would be nice, um, and bouncing off of off of here and continuing upward. So uh, I expect Sybil um, to continue it, its downward course. It broke this resistance right here, or support line. Um, not too much right here. Um, we do have uh, some support here on uh, the two deviation. Um, and we have some concurrence right here uh, at the point zero three three eight area with this deviation line along with the pitchfork so uh, we could hit something like that uh, that's what I have for Sybil uh, Fern here we go uh, speaking of uh, the pitchfork here we finished below the pitchfork but just barely not concerning yet I've seen it dip about right here before and then bounce back up that happened uh, the last time when I bought in right here um, it uh, I'm sorry, right here it came and it dipped down. I just about got stopped out. Um, oh no, it was right here. I'm sorry. Um, it, it broke below this um, a little bit, came down here and then bounced back up. So uh, you want, but you do want to be careful because you start getting another red candle in here, uh, breaking this. Um, then it, uh, you know, you might want to, you know, have your stop loss under under here if you're in it um, I'm out of it I sold so I'm looking forward to um, this is right on the bottom here so if we get a if we get a blue day tomorrow um, I'm probably going to be getting uh, getting back in it um, it depends on the candle uh, how, where we start out uh, I might get in and then the next day if it breaks down I'll, I'll uh, I'll wait and see what happens. Uh, I'll probably set my stop here or something like that at, at the 0375 area. Uh, but I'm, I'm looking forward uh, for Fern to um, continue upward. Uh, we had quite a bit of a retracement, a really nice uh, rest here. Now, uh, what I was wanting for Fern, uh, we came you know we're about at the 50 percent we just dipped down below the 50 percent line here um, with this move so this is this is looking good it had uh, a 50 percent by percentage drop I again would rather you, you always want to see a 45 degree nice easy down and nice 45 degree angle upward type of thing but when you get parabolic up you usually get parabolic down um, and that's life in the OTC. Uh, but that's uh, what it's looking like for uh, Fern. Uh, it would be really nice if, if, if we get a blue candle Monday um, to get back in and, and anticipate an upward run here. Doesn't mean that that's going to happen. I'm not a financial advisor. Um, we I've definitely seen it where he had a blue day here and then red, red, red. Um, but I'm really paying attention to this uh, pitchfork. Uh, support line here that I have set up and these support lines right here it broke through this one uh, it held on this one so um, we'll wait and see what happens with Fern Monday uh, but I am suspecting it's, it's a pretty strong run it had a pretty good drop uh, now it definitely could uh, first thing in the morning if it drops or we start off just a little bit high uh, a little bit of blue. I'm going to be wary to see uh, the price action on, on the daily chart. Uh, again, I don't buy on uh, uh, on the minute chart per se. Um, I, I do when I know I want to get into a position. I look at the daily. I go to the 15, then I go to the one. Okay, that's I do that when I know for sure I want to get in. Here it's still uh, indecision time um, if we get a blue candle Monday uh, and it's not that big uh, I probably won't get back into it Tuesday um, barring that we had a blue candle here Tuesday if it starts up 
Then I'm going to go to the one one minute candle and probably wait for the 930 dip type of thing. And then I'd get in there and there's my confirmation um, that we are on the way up. So that's what I'd be doing with Fern uh, Monday. Uh, LGBS continues its downward trend of breaking farther away from uh, the, the downward trend line. So we have, uh, we have some work to do for us with LGBS. I'm glad that this it was a nice run up. Now we're just having a, a nice run down overall, you know, guys, you know, we're excited, we're sad, excited, sad. This is just consolidation right now after this move. We're just, con we're setting up an overall support for a bigger move. Um, we definitely could, you know, go in a downtrend and then this would act as resistance, but once we get on top of it, all of this will act as support as we kind of go up, kind of in a microcosm like this right here, uh, or especially this right here, this this consolidated, it broke away, there's your support right there. Well, on the bigger picture, in the long run, if we start going up again past this, this whole area would be a uh, acting as uh, support. But right now we're, we're following down, uh, go, going away from this downward trend line here. Um, we do have uh, some support right here, which is looking like uh, a, a descending uh, triangle, which means that um, you know we'll we'll get some action, like you know we'll come up, come down, test test this line right here, um, up, down, up down like that then it will break um, that is if uh, we are uh, indeed do have a descending triangle uh, being really really nitpicky uh, you know the, this line this line right here is a little bit lower uh, but right here uh, it does touch these two lines this one right here uh, with that one right there these are a little bit higher but not too much this one's a little higher and this one's just a tad little lower uh, so if you're not nit nitpicky you would be looking at this as a descending triangle and anticipating a lower move uh, for me I'm just waiting for this trend to break right here this could go down I don't care um, I'll, I'll be waiting for it to break this trend line uh, to get back in so uh, LGBS again, it just looks like it's going to continue going downward, um, which is good because we could get in at a, at a cheaper price. Nothing wrong with that. Um, didn't have it on my list, but I'm going to add it here real quick. Uh, is MJWL. I know that's a popular pick here. Kind of the same thing here. We, we uh, Downtrend. Now we did break the overall... Um, big downtrend move okay so that's that's a good sign for MJWL uh, the secondary downtrend right here uh, we it looks like we're starting to straddle this one so uh, we, we do have uh, we do have the, this upward support line here so technically we are still in a uh, uptrend uh, as you can see, all the deviation lines are going this way. It, it not exactly down to uh, the gold uh, lower band here. Uh, here's the upper band, um, but we're uh, we're awfully close to it. Um, it looks like it, it, it likes to stay along this support line, uh, but now I'm waiting for it to decide. Uh, here's my area of decision again. Uh, this could come back down, do this, but then when we get here, it's got to do something. Uh, how's this for great prognostication? It's either going to come up here, or it's either going to go down there, or it will go into no man's land. <laughs> Three things, not just two, and I have no idea which way it's going to go. Uh, but... Uh, it is a symmetrical wedge, so that means it could go either way. Uh, but a lot of the times, uh, like what happened with Sybil, 
what was it, it worked all the way down here and then you're like please go up and break this or at least go down so I know that we're the downturns continuing and what happens it goes in what I call no man land above the downtrend below the uptrend lines and now they got you guessing and sometimes that guy you have to have patience guys um, Cause right here like oh here's the low oh here's the low oh here's the low they love doing that um so don't you know you could scalp this these moves if you want um or you could just really try to get in you know at a, at a low point and if it goes a little bit lower that's fine you're you're waiting uh you know you're in this for long haul so then eventually when it breaks and maybe you could even put more in right here and enjoy the next run up um and especially again, like I said in the last video, that the OTCs, um, these are running a little bit uh, prematurely. Uh, that's because they're really good companies. Um, I do believe uh, most likely uh, they might have some runs in them and come back down. Uh, but uh, November is when I'm really, really getting uh, getting excited to um, put some big positions into these stocks. Um, and one more uh that i am in is eng uh first i have to get my clicker on here there we go uh eng uh i got in uh, a while ago uh, i can't remember here um uh, right on this kick up it just started to break uh this high right here at uh, t uh 220 or so uh so i got in at um oh was it 247 or so somewhere no that can't be right right here 218 221 i'm sorry um and we broke to the upside um so we, we are in uh an uptrend here um uh, it's it's looking uh looking really nice we have a nice curl coming up uh, we had a good really good day today uh, we had an engulfing candle and now we have another engulfing candle going upwards uh, setting higher highs so here you know here's here's a low right there um, you know at 169 or so here's another at two uh, and now we're setting another here um, even higher than that at uh oh i don't know just generalizing here but uh you know the 251 area somewhere around there um probably a good area would be 265 if you're getting nitty picky about it and want to set a uh, stop um, maybe a little bit lower than that maybe 260 or so um, my stop loss is still down here but i'm going to be moving it up um, and that's that's how you do it you get into the trade you wait for it to set uh, a higher low and then w once uh, w when the stocks uh, continue to go up bounce down go up you know here you put the stop loss there it moves up bounces down you wait for it to start coming up if it's coming up then you move your stop up there um, and then comes down here um, you wait up oh, comes down more you wait boom you get stopped out okay nothing wrong with that um on the daily chart uh, if you start seeing it come down though i wouldn't play the daily chart because you start uh, uh you know seeing it uh break breaking support over here um that might be the sign of the end of the move and you know you might go to the uh, minute chart and wait on that day to where you know you finally want to get out um you know some kind of strategy something like that or again if you're in it for the long term you just do plan your trade and you get in um, and you wait till you get stopped out or trailing stop or you know some kind of thing like that or you know if you're you're itching to get out you you, you made your your profit then you, you like I said before you just get into the minute chart and you figure out what time of that day you want to get out you know you want to get out and then uh, when you think you got the high of the day, then you just sell and and you made your money. So, um, but with LG uh, with ENG, 
uh, I'm just going going to uh, play it and move and just move my stops up and uh, keeping an eye out on these resistance levels right here here um, you know uh, about um, oh let's see here we have at like 362 393 uh, 4 466 areas and um, there's some uh, right here at 402 yeah so uh, I'll be careful in those areas uh, and um, just letting this uh, play out and moving my stops up until we see you know a big movement down uh, then I'll, I'll get stopped out um, and I'll be happy with my with my trade here so that um, that's something that uh, I'm in and I'm excited about with ENG uh, my uh, let's see my uh, indicator uh, pick that I was looking at uh, flux uh, we can definitely take a look at that here I got to get my keyboard back over here um, we're still in the buy zone um, I'm, I'm, we're, so we're just waiting that's about as, as exciting as it gets when you trade the day the day charts <laughs> It takes you one second. Okay, not ready yet. Move on. Uh, that's the beauty of uh, trading from the uh, the day charts, guys. Uh, making, you know, two three month long uh, plays, um, and uh, so uh, it takes you a long time to get in, and hopefully it takes you a long time uh, to get out. But you're steadily just watching your portfolio uh, grow. Uh, another one uh, that I'm looking at is NXTD. Um, we're in the buy zone right now um, and typically when it comes out it will retest and then when you see it bounce you get in um, this this one looks really exciting also uh, we do have one major downward uh, support to break and so this looks perfect because right when it bounces out of this buy buy zone um, it will also at the same time break this downward trend uh, so this is looking uh, exciting also uh, there's some good uh, uh, really good uh, target points uh, with this one uh, we're looking at let's say we get in uh, right above here uh, the buy zone uh, the first the first target guys is 50 percent 54 percent the second one is a hundred and six percent now that doesn't mean uh, I'm saying about as the way I'm going by the angle of this right here, this move, we're looking at 56% in three weeks. And then continuing onward, 105% uh, in 39 days if it gets up to a um, dollar two, okay, for the second one. So that's, that's something to get, uh, for me, I, I'm excited about that one. Uh, it would be, um, you know, that'd be, i consider a really good trade. I don't think anyone would scoff at 100% in 40 days. So, um, so that's another one to look at also. Um, and with that said, I hope you guys have uh, had a really good day. I hope you're green and uh, have a really, really good weekend. And uh, we will see you uh, Monday. I might be doing a, a video tomorrow, by the way, um, with uh, this indicator again. We're going to be going back over that. Um, and uh, then, uh, yeah, uh, as far as indicators uh, videos on, on, my, on Saturday, I'm going to be looking a little bit more in depth in this, maybe giving some examples uh, to help you guys uh, understand this a little bit more. Um, and then maybe my next uh, my next indicator uh, is I might take a break from the indicator and I might do a scan video on the cup and handle. Um, it's the only cup and handle uh, scanner out there, so I'm really really excited about this. Um, and again, that's with fun with Think Script. I'll leave a link below if you want to look at that. Uh, but that looks really exciting too, um, just like uh, the play. 
on uh, old SPRT. That was uh, just a brilliant, incredible uh, cup and handle move, which you know uh, went up hundreds of percent. So um, we're look, definitely looking forward to seeing that scan. So I might do that Saturday. Uh, also, um, or the the next video after that, and then um, my next indicator uh, will be on uh, probably a Murray Math indicator. Uh, that one has interested me uh, quite a bit, also. Uh, so I might be taking a look at that next. Uh, and with that said, guys, sorry a little uh, long-winded. Again, shout out to Moon Market. Uh, some some more great great picks. Uh, the Discord there again. We're we're just having so much fun, guys. And I can't I can't tell you uh, if you're not in it, uh, you're you're missing out not only on some good uh, profit taking with the picks, but uh, just all of us having fun and, and enjoying uh, learning together, learning how to read the charts, and um, just having uh, having fun throughout the day. So, uh, with that said, guys, take care.